Hello, my name is Taylor Jones. Today I'm going to be discussing Native American medicines in detail. In today's society, a great majority of individuals use Western culture's methods for healing and treating illnesses. However, in Native American culture, ceremonial healing practices have been performed for many, many years. This even dates back to the colonial times. While modern practices involve treatment with antibiotics or painkillers, traditional healing is thought of in a completely different way. I'm going to tell you what medicine is to Native American traditions and discuss why ceremonies are performed the way that they are. Healing practices begin with the overall idea of Native American culture. The four levels in this culture must be in balance before any sort of healing may be done. These levels include spirituality, community, environment, and self. Spirituality includes the Creator and Mother Earth. The community involves family, clans, and tribes. The environment includes daily life, nature, and balance. And self includes inner passions, peace, thoughts, and values. These healing practices that take place may be different between tribes, but most have some type of representation of the four directions in the circular symbol of harmony and balance of the mind, body, spirit with their environment. These four directions make up a continuous circle that is used for healing. A healing circle that is created may be different for each ceremony, but in each ceremony the circle is represented in some way. The circle represents power, relation, peace, and unity. The term medicine is describing the essence of life or an inner power. It creates every living being's particular way of life and presence. Medicine in the Native American culture may be any sort of herb, tea, or dressings of these materials. They are used to treat physical or emotional ailments, however, these physical injuries are not only healed by such materials. Medicine begins with the person's inner being and power. It also incorporates all of their surroundings. Every tree, plant, rock, animal, and person are needed for a person to become completely healed of their pain and suffering. Medicine may be considered something that is not physical. It may be considered an event, memory, place, person, and movement. Every one of these things may be considered medicine that affects a person's well-being by creating an emotion that treats pain. Medicine can also be used not only for individuals, but may be used for certain places in the community to pur purify them as well. Medicine can also be any type of prayer, song, vision, or herbal medicine. These different pathways to healing may also be combined to perform a ceremony. When someone is in pain, emotionally or physically, the most common way to heal them is through a ceremony. Ceremonies have many different functions, including healing. They are created almost always to offer thanks, create, regain, and maintain a strong sense of connection between an individual and their body, mind, and spirit to the natural environment. There are many different ceremonies performed by many different tribes. Here are some that are widely known for healing practices. The most common performed ceremony in the Native American culture is called the Sweat Lodge. This ceremony is termed a purification ceremony. One is cleansed in the ceremony by the Sweat Lodge leader and the other participants. Another is termed a Vision Quest. This is a more personal ceremony that involves one leaving their daily life to figure out certain parts of their life they want to find out. Another ceremony used in healing is termed smudging. This ceremony involves the burning of herbs that cleanse the body, mind, and spirit. The smoke created from the burning of herbs is considered to be a very powerful spirit that cleanses and purifies people, ceremonial grounds, homes, and sacred objects, or even to send messages to a greater spirit. The signature herb used in this particular ceremony may be sage, cedar, juniper, lavender, and sweet grasses. Other ceremonies are the sun dance and the pipe ceremony. When it comes to the reliability of healings of the Native American culture, many seem to think that Western medicine is much more reliable. There are many differences between the two that may be the reason for the stigma. Both are completely different cultures that have their own views and beliefs. Let's look at what these differences are. As you can see, there are many differences between the two types of medicine. Western medicine focuses more on curing the disease, while Native American medicine focuses on healing the person along with the community. Western medicine's diseases are classified as biological and treatment should produce quantifiable outcomes, while Native American medicine's diseases are classified by not having a simple explanation and their outcomes are not necessarily quantifiable. Western medicine concentrates upon the strategy of looking for small causes of the disease within the body, while Native American medicine is looking at the big picture of things, including causes and effects of disease within the body. As you can see, there are many differences between the two. This may cause the misunderstanding of Native American medicine. The misunderstanding comes from the difference in culture as well. 
If we were exposed to such types of healing, maybe most of the Western society may be more open to the idea of the healing practices that take place in a Native American culture. I conducted a survey attempting to gain knowledge from the South Dakota population. The survey consisted of various questions pertaining to one's age, gender, ethnicity, and their acceptance of Native American medicine. The results were found to be that a huge majority of people use Western medicine and prefer it over Native American medicine. Respondents stated that this was because they had never been exposed to Native American medicine before. They also responded that the Western medicine has always seemed to work for them. Some students stated, it is the only one I have used my whole life, or that is always what the doctor recommends, and it's cheap and easy to use. Many stated that they would try Native American medicine if it were to be scientifically proven to help treat disease and illness. Some individuals stated, I do not like to put all of the medicines or chemicals into my body. I am not very knowledgeable about other remedies. It seems as though many individuals are undereducated about the possible treatment or cure of the Native American medicinal culture. Many may stray from this idea because it's not a culture of their own. Considering some individuals seem to be undereducated regarding Native American medicine, I believed it would be a good idea to talk to someone who may have some prior knowledge to these medicines from classes. I talked to former in ed 211 student Bryce Johnson about his experiences and opinions on Native American medicine. Normally I take like ibuprofen, um, acetaminophen, like the generic stuff, um, like Dayquil, Nyquil, all that stuff. I would say that we used, we live, I live in like Northeast Nebraska, so there's like a lot of um, reservations around us. So we played them in a bunch of sports and we got to like see what they would do, you know, for a basketball game or a football game or like their traditions. And it was really cool to see actually. I think it would take um, a lot more knowledge on the different medicines and stuff. I'm not really familiar, you know, with a lot of things besides the smudging. So I think that um, I'd have to read up more on it and, you know, maybe like take some more classes for it. But I would be open to trying it. And I think that there's a lot of good things that come out of, you know, the Native Americans, like medicinal stuff, more so than the skeptical, you know, typical stereotype of it. As you can see, there is much more to Native American medicine than primarily healing individuals who are sick or injured. This type of healing provides an overall health and well-being for an individual. They must be in balance and harmony throughout their self, community, environment, and spirits. Once all is in balance, people are able to be treated for their injuries or sickness and become one with all that is around them. Then they are at peace and able to carry on their sacred tradition.